Alright guys, I'm back again with another anime review and today we have the Goku-sen, or goku -sen. I don't know exactly what you need to search to find it. Um, I always watch this English dub because the first time I saw it was on Star's Edge when they had their uh, anime episodes. They used to have, I think it was Samurai Deeper, Vandred, and goku -sen. I'm actually surprised they could show Vandred. That was pretty, uh, well I guess it was Star, so I guess it uh, doesn't have the same... <laughs> that was a kind of a lewd anime for like uh for American TV. But this anime has some of like great teacher on Izuka in it. It's actually a short anime though, it's about 13 episodes. Um I won't say it's as good as Onizuka. Onizuka is a classic, but it has less messed up parts than Onizuka because it doesn't have that one stigma where Onizuka's a freaking pervert. Um But the main character doesn't have the flaws that Onizuka has, like which makes Onizuka relatable. Some of his flaws make Onizuka relatable. Some of Onizuka's flaws are unrelatable for me anyways. But um, yeah, so in Gokusen, the main character's kind of peerless, like she doesn't have really any flaws. But this is another anime like Salary Man Kintaro, where like, the relationships the character has with other characters are a big deal in this anime. And just a synopsis of the show real quick. And goku -sen, the teacher, is actually from like this power, powerful Yakuza, Yakuza, clan, Yakuza clan, which is the Oeda clan, and she's like the Harris of it. But she wants to be a teacher. She's always wanted to be a teacher um, for reasons later discussed in anime. I won't spoil that kind of thing for you. But she has to balance her school life with being a Yakuza member. And sometimes it helps her and sometimes it hurts her. And it's really like a detriment because if anybody finds out she's the Yakuza Harris, she won't be able to teach at the school anymore. This anime has some of the funniest parts, has so many funny parts. Um, it is corny. Like I always watch the English dub. I don't know if the sub is any good or not, but the dub, it's kind of corny, but it's really enjoyable. I, I like it a lot. Any episode that focuses on Uchi, it's hilarious. Uchi has like some of the funniest parts and like maybe uh, there's one part where he's running at Yanku. I mean, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but I die every time. And this is one of the few animes that has a final episode that I like super enjoyed. Like the final episode for uh, Goku-sen is like a perfect stopping spot. I wish it was longer, but that was the perfect episode to end on. And it's really, it is a really short, nice anime, and you don't have to pay too much attention to it. Because like I said, I watched this originally on Star's Edge. And when I used to watch shows on TV, it's not like you have it on the anime now where you can go from episode one, two, three, four. You had to watch whatever came on. So I was watching this in like whatever order, kind of like Cowboy Bebop, Trigun. So it's a show you can watch, and you don't have to have it like chronologically to enjoy the show. You don't have to like put anything grand master scheme together. Um, I do like that I can watch the whole thing from chronological order now. That's that's nice, but it is a very good anime, and the humor it, the humor in it adapts very well to uh, the American audience. I think there's some Japanese humor in animes that sometimes I'm watching it and I'm like, I don't get the joke, I don't get the reference, I don't understand without some like further research. But this this doesn't have anything too much like that, and some of the scenes are truly funny. And I really did enjoy the final episode. It gets me hype every time. There's certain parts in this show where the badass things happen and you're just like, that's actually kind of badass. But then there's some parts, because the voice acting is like hit or miss, like sometimes you can see it's a little bit forced. It's an English dub. But it's like all the voice actors overall are pretty good, especially Uchi's. I, he kills me every time. His voice is like, super weird but it's perfect for the role that the character plays i couldn't imagine anybody else but the, the, the dude that did his voice doing it i don't even know who he is but that is a perfect voice for that character if you look at that character you're like that is the voice he would probably have i it, love this anime it is really good it it's kind of a nostalgia thing because i did watch it when i was younger like i said i used to watch it like every day i come home from high school it used to come on with samurai Oh man, that Samurai Deeper anime is the worst anime adaption of a manga I've ever seen in my life. But I'm not going to get on a tangent. Well, and I used to buy the manga books for Samurai Deeper and that anime was terrible. Um, not even close. 
But Gokusen is really good. Uh, the main character is likable. I do wish... That's one thing that does set, I think, GTO a scale above this anime, though. It's a little bit more, a little bit more serious. Um, the drawings, obviously, even though GTO is older, the drawings are better. Uh, Gokusen does not have good drawings. Like, the drawing is not good. Everyone's got them, like, big lips and everyone that looks funny. Even, like, the characters that are supposed to be good looking look comical. Which is fine. Like, it doesn't take anything away from the show. Because the show is supposed to be like a comedy slice of life anime. <clears throat> where a teacher who comes from like a, a bad background wants to become a teacher. And like improve students that had like a similar kind of thing. She wants to improve their lives. So they don't have to go through the same thing. It's not even her in specific in this anime. It's actually people she knows. Unlike in Onizuka. Onizuka is the character that has that like backstory where people were looking down on him and didn't really give him a chance and goku said it's not actually um yamaguchi Yam yankumi i don't know they keep changing her name because the kids gave her like a, a nickname on like the first or second episode and then it's like sticks with her and then some people call her real name i think it's yamaguchi and then the other ones call her yankumi which that that kind of throws me off because i have a hard enough time remembering japanese names as it is the characters are all pretty likable. None of them are. <laughs> Some of them are interesting. It's not anything that's going to be like amazing, but this is a show that if you're like relaxing and you just want to watch something that you can listen to in the background, or maybe you just want to watch something that's funny, this is a good anime to watch. It's a very good slice of life, and it's kind of touching at moments. Um, it's not anything that's going to break your heart or make you like. I don't know if you'll get the same reaction to it as I did because I really do enjoy this anime and I've seen it multiple times. I don't know if you like it like that, but it's definitely a good anime to check out if you haven't already. Um, but man, Uchi, oh my god, he cracks me up, dude. <laughs> I've never, that voice acting is just so perfect. But thanks for watching as always, guys. If you would, please like and subscribe. And I'll try to do a little bit more anime videos. I know I've been trying to focus on the gaming thing. And, um, but yeah, I, I do like doing these anime reviews and it, I do enjoy it. But thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye.